Well, just a quick video on the Reynolds Assault wheels that I've got here. These are a, actually a pretty old wheel. I think they're probably from the noughties. So that would be probably their time of build. Maybe 2008, 2009, something like that. They're pretty old. And these are Reynolds Assault wheels. And uh, I did a bit of a swap for them, for some Campagnolo, Campagnolo Euros clinches. And I kind of like tried the clinches, you know, for my rain bike, my wet weather bike. But I just... I just find that I just don't like clinches and I had some problems with them. I had problems with the tire splitting and I wanted to go back to tubular. So a guy at work had some tubular tires, these ones that he wanted to get rid of. So I did a swap with him. But I did actually have some problems when I actually picked up the wheels because most of my other Reynolds wheels have got DT Swiss hubs, but these particular ones, because of their age, haven't and the, the hub on the back was what they call a KT hub and I couldn't get a free hub body to change it to 11 speed. So that created a bit of a problem for me. And what I had to end up doing is getting one of my other Reynolds wheels which I've worn out and get a donor hub from that wheel and put it into this wheel. So this actual hub here is a 240S, it's from a uh, ultra lightweight Reynolds wheels that obviously were a higher build spec and I've had that built into this wheel so it's cost me about 250 bucks the tires came with the wheels and I've just taken them off and re-glued and taped them back on and amazingly enough they ride very nice they they really perform they give a really nice feel and actually ride a lot better than the Campagnolo Euros which is a lot more modern wheel so I'm really quite happy well, anyway, guys, that was just a bit of an update on my build. I know it's taken a bit of a while to get back to you. I know I told you about the Reynolds wheels some weeks ago, but finally I managed to get, um, after trying to get the KT parts and everything, that I finally decided to swap the hubs and get them built up, and now they're completed and on my Fonda S. So that's the, the build finished. So, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next vid. Cheers.